Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? We're back again doing another tutorial. This time, we're getting into the spirit of the season. Halloween is right around the corner, and why not build something really, really cool Halloween-themed and also dress up like the joker now here we go this is the house we're going to be building today and up oh, there goes the graveyard keeper so we're making a little starter graveyard keeper house with a graveyard attached to it and it's super fun to make this is totally expandable too so you can keep this graveyard going hello scary uh so we can keep this graveyard going as long or as big as you want but hopefully you guys get a little inspiration build this in your world and if you do send me pics send me pictures on twitter on discord instagram wherever you guys want to send it to me i would love to see this in your world but right now let's start building this thing block for block oh no the graveyard keeper don't die oh oops all right, so here's the block palette we're using. We're messing up the stones like crazy at the beginning. So we're putting a lot of stone brick, cobble, some mossy, some andesite. The woods we're going to be using is primarily just the darker wood. So dark oak and spruce. Bringing a little bit of netherrack in there for the fireplace little section we have in there. And a couple little things along the way. Now, these are the dimensions we're working with. But this could be totally organic. This is just a little bit of an outline for the wall around it. But for the house itself, we went with a really odd diagonal type of shape. So we're going to count this out. So let's do it all together everything we're going to do right now in this base i'm going to go one around and we're all going to do it out of cobble and we're going to mix it up after but for now let's start right on the back of the house to make it a lot easier so we're just going to do cobble for now and we'll work it out it looks a little complex but it's not we'll, we'll take it one step at a time so let's start right here just with cobble for now so just one two three and four go in a block and then turn and we go one two three go in a block and we're turning one two and three now, once we're here, we're going to go. This is already a one. So two, three, four, five. So there's a five long. We're going to go in by one right here. Then we're going to go one and two more. So that's where we got so far. Now, one, two, and three. Then once we get to here, we're going another. This is already a one. So two, three, four, five. Turn this corner. Just an extra one and two. We're going to push it in by one and go one, two, three. We're going to put some stairs here later, just a little reminder. Then we're going to go another one and two. Turn this corner. There's already a one right here. So two, three, and four. And then we're just going to connect this side to that side. So this is a total of five blocks right here. So at the end, it's going to look just like that. Then for the walls, this is just the amount of blocks that I have. But if you notice, we did break it up like crazy. But just to let you know how um, how long it is, <laughs> I'm going to show you right now. We're just going to do it all in one uh, one block. So one from here, right at the corner. Uh, we're just uh, recessing it in by one. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now, from here all the way to the end. Let's just count the blocks just so you can know. So if you want it exactly like this. But it's all organic, so we're going to change it up. So it's a one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 to the end of the line there. And now we're going to count from this block. So this is already a 1. So 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We're going to stop here. Now this should be center to that part of that uh, 5 block uh, cobble gap. So from here there's a 1. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once we get to the seven, we're gonna go one, two, three right here. Give it a three block gap space. And this is a one, two, three right here. So this is the only thing that for sure I wanna have because I love that little gate that we put in the back there. But over here, this could be all broken up. Just to let you know, we could break it up. We're gonna even do it a little bit more different than that. Just so you can see, you could make it as unique and different as you want. But for now, this is what we got. Now this one little block right here, all we gotta do from this line right here, we're just going one and two, and put a little polish right there. We're gonna make like a nice little railing on that side. But for now, this is it. Now the first wall we're gonna lift is this corner block here. So this five block gap space, this five over here, and then this five we have right here, this is the only ones that we're gonna lift up just like you see right there. But let's do it all in cobble, and then we're gonna switch up and do some texturing after. But for now, let's start counting. So there's a one right here, so let's go two, three four five and that's it <laughs> so five now this corner one two three four five and now this is what i want you to do we're going up one block at a time till it looks like that and then coming back down and then just fill in the rest just like this for now and then we have this start now let's go over here to this corner right here this one and we're going to go up so let's go again from here there's a one so two three four and five go to this corner one two three four and five and then just step it up 
and then step it back down. And it should match exactly what we did there. Now let's just cover all this up in cobble for now. Now let's go all the way to this side. We're gonna do this corner as well. So this five on the inside part. So there's a one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then just up again, just like so. And then just fill this one in. Now this is the only one that's gonna get filled in completely. Uh, these other ones, we're gonna put windows. So I'll show you where they're gonna put the window. Let's go right here. So we're going up one, two, so here on the third one and fourth one, we're putting a little window. And then the same thing over here. So one, two, one, two, right there, we're putting a little window. Now, all this is gonna get textured. The only thing that has almost like a consistent theme on it is that we have some polished andesites on the bottom, on this one, and on that one. That's it, that's the only thing. So here, here, and there. Right here in the little, uh, every other gap, starting from the bottom, middle, and top. So we're gonna go all the way around like this. And it's the only one that it, it kind of makes it look like it was put together uh, with love at the beginning. <laughs> it looks like there's a, there's a base to that. But everything else now is gonna get completely messed up. So this is what I want you to do. We're gonna go ahead and texture. I'm gonna put a little bit of a mix. I'm gonna do one wall together, and then the rest I'll do off cam. So let's put a little bit of mossy in here. I'm gonna keep the mossy towards the bottom. Then I'm gonna go with a little bit of andesite. And you don't have to put it exactly where I'm putting it. Just go random with it. Uh, just to make sure it doesn't look any kind of uh, pattern in here. Uh, just the only thing. So something like that. See how messy that looks, but just random? So just like that. So I'm gonna do this to all these other walls. And also, on the little bottom pieces here as well. There we go. Now that we have all the walls textured, looking pretty cool, we're gonna start lifting up the walls here. So now the inner wall sections, we're gonna be doing it out of the wood. So this is also a mix of all these different dark oaks. But for now, let's just do it all in dark oak plank and then we'll do the texture after. So let's start right here in this corner. We're just gonna go up. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Three here. We're gonna put an upside down stair here. This will be our front door and then three up right there. Uh, we're also gonna put some stairs. So let's just go regular stairs just like that. Um, we can mix a little bit of cobble in there too. Now we're gonna go up one, two, and three. One, two, three. Now three on all of these right here. Just make it sure, make sure that it just swings all the way around and stop right before that polish on every corner. So here, one, two, three. Take this one up as well. This one also gets it to the top right there. Then let's go here. One, two, and three three on this side and then also three on this side all right now it's time to do this diagonal roof now this could be a little tricky so let's go real slow and take it one step at a time so let's start right here we're going to do this all out of spruce stairs and then we're going to come back and break it up like we did over there so let's start here so one and two right here let's go one two three on that one and then here we go one two three and four so that kind of swings around like so then let's grab some slabs i'm going to put the slabs on the top right here one and two one two three one and two, and then over here, one, two, and three. And that helps out because we're gonna be placing blocks on top of it. And if we do this, watch this, one and two, it blocks out that gap. If we didn't have the slab there, you see a hole there. So one and two here, one, two, and three on this side. I'm gonna put one and two over here, and then one, two, and three on this side. So, so far, so good, we have this going. Then let's put slabs again on the back side of that. So one and two, one, two, three, one and two. Let's put one on that little gap here, and one, two, and three. So we have that just like so. Now on this side, let's keep it going. So one and two here, one, two, and three on this side. I'm gonna go one and two here. Let's put a placeholder block, put one here, one, two, and three, get rid of that. Then this is gonna swing around over here. So one and two more on this side. Now let's come back on this end. Let's continue this. So one, two, and three, one, two, and three, two over here. Then back with slab. So one, two, three, and that covers that up. One, two, three, covers that little gap, and one and two, just like that. Then, two stairs. One, two, three stairs. One, two, and three stairs right there. Now we just gotta cover up these little spots here. So let's do this. We're gonna put slabs on top. So one, two, and three. I'm gonna go with one, two, and three. Then we have a little gap here, so we're just gonna cover that up with a slab right there. Then one and two. Now we're gonna do this, watch this. So let's start for actually from this corner, just to make it easy to show you the connection. So one and two here in the middle, one, two, three in the middle. Well, let's do another four and five that connects there. And then this connects right here. So it should look like this when you're done, but we're not finished at all. We're gonna mess this up. It's gonna look a lot better when it's a little more torn up like that, trust me. Now let's place the campfire block right here. So right at the edge of that one and two, we're gonna come back here, one and two, one, two, three, one, two, three, three more here, and then just two more on that side. And let's extinguish everything. There we go. Now, once we get to that, we're just gonna grab some trapdoors and go one, two, three, four, five, six, right here on the corner. 
grab some walls. It could be a mixture of really any kind of wall. I'm just gonna put some mossy, uh, and oh no, just uh, let's put some cobble. So cobble and a regular stone one. You can mix that with mossy, you can put andesite, anything. So that looks good right there. Then let's come back here on this side and look, there's a little gap here. We forgot to take that, take care of that. If you see any of those gaps, just put a little slab right there. Now back here, I'm gonna put some more campfires. I'm gonna go right here on this edge. So we're gonna go one and two, one and two, one and two, just like that. A little bit of a little edge in the back. And then just to put some outside storage, it's gonna look just like that. Now here, I went ahead and I put some gates and this makes it look a little cooler. We don't really need anything bigger than that. So just a couple gates here on the bottom just to hold that up. Now a little bit of detail down here. I used anvils because it's creative and it's free, but if you guys can't afford this one, uh, then you can go ahead and just put some walls here. Uh, if anything, you can always put maybe uh, something like that and then maybe walls in between, but that's fine. I just, you know, if you got them, use them. <laughs> Look at those cool anvils there though. So once we have that, we're looking pretty good. Now we're just gonna go ahead and just mix in a little bit of wall action, just like that, a mix of cobble and a little mix of stone. And it's gonna go on top here on the corner bits right here like so <laughs> pretty awesome now next up we're gonna go ahead and mess up this roof so you can keep the roof like this but i suggest making it look a little cooler so i'm gonna come in here and give it some full blocks and this is all up to you guys this is just random block placement at this point just to make it look cool uh just to make it stand out a little more so i'm putting some full blocks where slabs were i'm getting rid of some of these stairs and putting uh some of the full blocks also going to be throwing in a couple extra slabs in certain spots like so breaking some down even and just completely taking it out we're also going to be adding a little bit of bush i went with spruce uh because it just looks like a the darker uh type of uh bush and i think it looks pretty nice some of these i might even break and continue the little bush going down like so uh and then we can also bring in some bush on the inside of the house too coming on this way and stuff like this this makes it look really really cool i'm not gonna do it exactly how i did it in the other one because you know what you don't have to you can make this look as unique as possible so something like this looks really really awesome there you go, something like that. We, we did a little bit more of an overhang on this side with these right here, these on these corners, and maybe one more right there. Just a little bit more of an overhang on this end. But I love the way this looks. Now back here, the fireplace, and how can I forget? We're going up, so that's one, two, three. Let's break that off, four. Now five, I'm gonna take this in actually on this side. So we're gonna go all the way down, get rid of this block right here. So that's gonna be our little fireplace action. Then I'm gonna take it up right here and just, I'm gonna take it, if, uh, total blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, on the eighth one, I think that's pretty good. On the ninth, right on top of that, we're gonna go ahead with a little bit of a uh, uh, campfire block and we're gonna throw in some of our uh, Hershey bar trap doors all the way around. I think this color is the one that looks the best with that combination. And then we're gonna put a little uh, nether wall on top. So we're using some nether, baby. And then over here, we're gonna put another little stair just to break that up. And then out here, I'm just gonna take it up by one here, take it up by two on that side. I'm gonna put a stair here and a stair there. That's pretty much it. We can even break it up more if you want. Maybe put a little upside down stair there somewhere just to make it look a little cooler. But yeah, there you go. Now the house is looking awesome. But one thing that I really want to do is break up all this just dark oak. So we're going to come in here and mess this up as well. So I'm going to come in and give it some stripped dark oak. Also, I'm gonna come in here and give it some regular dark oak logs in certain spots. And this makes it look so much better. Also, I'm gonna bring in some stairs and twist it inside the walls in certain places so it looks a little bit more broken. And then some of these, we can actually twist it and you can see the holes going through, which looks really, really awesome. See like that? You can have the little hole po uh, poking out right there. It looks really, really awesome. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this to the whole house. There we go. Now the house is completely done. So let's work on this outer wall. And this could be as unique as you wanted. The only thing that I like to keep would be this little arch gate over here on this side so for this let me show you how to do it so I'm gonna do everything out of cobble and then we'll mix in the textures after so right here we got these little three by three sections so I'm just gonna take this up this is already a one right so two three four so right here one two three and four I'm gonna put an upside down stair here upside down stair here I should get rid of that one putting a stair facing forward and a stair facing forward like that then we're grabbing some slabs and just going up gradually, just like this, giving this cool little archway feel. So let's do it again. So over here, let's actually take these up as well. So let's take it all the way up to right there. So one, two, and three, three stairs. Then over here, we're gonna put a stair on this one. We're gonna go with our slabs going up, then slab going back down, stair, stair. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I get it? There we go. And then take this up. Then we're also gonna take these up and then for this, I'm just gonna do a stair here, a slab here, a slab up top, and a slab here. 
Now we have this little gap. We can actually close that off, but we have this perfect little spot just to drop a gate and it looks cool because it's not broken up by like that. If we had it right here in the middle, it'll look kind of weird, right? See, it kind of like has that single. So by doing that, recessing it in by one, we can create this cool little gate feeling and you can have it closed or you can have it open. I have it closed, but if you want it open, you can literally just open it and maybe swing it open on one side or another side. So it's up to you guys how you want to do it or just leave it maybe even like that if you want it completely open, but I'm going to close mine. So just like that. Then we can come back and texture it, but this is pretty simple, right? Pretty cool. Now, next up, the wall. Now, the wall is up to you guys if you want to keep it completely closed off. If you want to completely close it off, you could. It's actually pretty safe from pillagers or bad guys. If you lift it all up, maybe have a, a central gate going in and out. But I did it very broken. So I'm going to show you how to do the broken feel. And it's up to you guys if you want to do it. So let's, let's start working on this. So we already know it's this area. So I'm just going to get rid of this just so I can show you. Let's start clean. But you already know the dimensions, okay? So let's start clean for sure. We're keeping at least these corner bits. So let's do it all out of a cobble for now. And then I'll show you guys how to texture after. So I'm going to go down here. Let's go down. One, two, three. This is all organic. You don't have to do it like me, okay? Now, this is one, two, three. I'm going to actually break this little piece off and go up to the fourth. And I'm going to take this up right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Let's go up one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, like that. Then I'm going to take this up, maybe another one, two, three. Uh, three's good. And then here, one and two. And this is just organic building right now. This is just seeing if it looks cool and I keep it if it does or if it doesn't, take it out. So put a little slab on that one. Let's put a stair, let's see, something like that. Let's break up this wall a little bit. So I'm going to put another slab here. Let's put a stair on that side. Let's put a slab on top. And something like this. We're going to take down maybe one and two, one. And then let's put a stair here, slab. And I think just like that, we have ourselves a nice little broken wall. Now, I'm going to leave that there for now. So watch this. So the way I did it, actually, I should take this one out. I'm going to turn it sideways to break it up even more. Then I'm going to do a little bit of a fence right there. Let's put a fence, put a gate also. I'm going to mix and match the fence and the gate right here. So let's put a fence and a gate just like that. And then I'm going to do like a little, a little wall that just kind of fell off. So I'm going to put two, one on top. Let's put a stair on the side. And I think that's good right there. Simple. Then I'm going to go with one, two. Let's put a gate here and I'm going to do another little wall right here. So one, two, three, four. Then from here, another one, two. Let's do two. I'm just going to do two. So let's go up one and this is all organic. You don't have to do it exactly where I'm doing it, but just to show you how I'm, I'm just setting it up randomly. So let's go with a two. Let's go with a one. There we go. Let's put one slab there. And I think maybe one slab right there. Yeah, that looks really good. And then again, this is all going to be textured, but for now, make it simple. So something like this. Then I'm going to go with a fence. Let's go with a gate. Let's go with uh, let's go with another fence. Then I'm going to go with another little wall. So I, I have this little opening here, but you don't have to make it exactly symmetrical to that. I'm actually not going to do symmetrical. So let's go with a wall up here. Then I, I went with a little kind of a stair going like that. I'm going to give it a one, two, three, four. Three is fine. See, it's not symmetrical. We can even take it up one more so that it's like a four. Uh, so it doesn't really matter this part. So I'm going to take that up just like that. And then we're going to take this wall. So right here we have a one, two, three, four, five. Then it's going to go one and two, just like that. Let me take this up another. This is already a one. So two, three. Let's go one, two. Let's match that. Another three. Let's go with a one. Let's go with a two. Oh, I'm going to leave that as a one. Let's take this up. And I think that's good. I'm going to put a gate on this one and a, f uh, and a fence. That's fine. Then I'm going to go with a slab here. Let's go with a slab down there. I'm actually going to break that off and put a stair. Put a slab on top. Uh, actually, I'm going to take this one out. Let's put a stair facing that way. I'm going to put a full block and a stair here. Let's go with a stair sideways. And I'm going to go with a couple blocks. Let's go to a full block and a slab. I'm going to go with a stair here. And I think that's perfect. I'm going to put two walls here so we can put some lights on that. And yeah, that's pretty broken, right? I'm going to come back in here then. Maybe give it some stairs like so. Let's give it a little stair on the side like so on one of those. Maybe a stair down below here. Maybe a stair broken on that side. So you can only see the broken side on one. And that's pretty much it. Random, right? It's pretty cool though. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and texturize this. Just like we did for this wall. I'm going to add a mix of andesite, a mix of mossy, a mix of brick. And we're just going to texture all this. So let's randomize this really quick. 
And there we go. With the randomization, look how awesome it looks. And also, I added some of this dead coral. This is one of my favorite ones. Look at this one. This is the dead brain coral block. Wow, wow, wow. That is perfect for these walls, and it's really spooky. Add to that. Now, we're going to add now our little gravestone. So we can put this anywhere. I'm going to pretty much put it right here, one and two, just like that. Then another one and two. If we want to count, it's from this block is another one, two, three on the fourth one. Putting two here, one block cap space, and two right there. Then we're going to give it a space of one, two, three, another two and there we go then in the front i went ahead and added some where are you i think it's down here is hiding i'm gonna put some coarse dirt just uh, a little two by two right here on the front just like so then we have these little headstones now to dress it up one of these and i got this idea from my boy system z this looks like an open coffin check that out so we're leaving one exposed just like that it looks so good it looks like little coffin doors opening so that's so awesome man shout out to z for that idea super cool then on some of these i'm gonna go a little crazy so we're gonna break these two I'm gonna break those two underneath i'm dropping campfires underneath these and we're putting some magma blocks so it looks like something is coming out of the ground there uh and then maybe one of these could be like uh like a little rock like in the ground we can even do double rocks like something's kind of breaking through on this one and then we can go ahead and just add a little course dirt like something He's popping out and that looks so awesome i love that steam it's like oh man watch out get out of there uh also to add more details i went ahead and i added a little bit of soul sand in certain spots just scattered in random little locations and then these could have a little bit of nether ward and they just add to the atmosphere also the birch leaf looks so good especially in this pack it's my boy jeremy boys pack and look at the birch leaf look how nice that looks it looks like fall color so I'm going to definitely add these in certain spots here just to dress it up to make it look a little cooler. And that just adds. You can even put some on the roof here as well. So if you want to uh, like incorporate that with the spruce, go ahead. It's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Check that out. Just in certain little areas, you can even break it through inside like that. There you go. Uh, so that's super awesome. We can also add some of these on the outside parts as well. We can also add the spruce ones out here also. Uh, so just go, go nuts. Just have fun. Add as much detail as you want on the outside. Things that will actually make this look a lot spookier is if we add a little bit of our uh, cobweb in certain spots don't go crazy with the cobweb though it's just a little accent in certain places maybe just to add a couple little bits here and there that looks so good then uh dirty up the grounds put some coarse dirt put some podzel put a bunch of stuff put tall grass of, of ferns put dead trees like we did over there but we're pretty much done with this one but let me show you the inside of the house how to set that up all right now we're inside the house now what i have here i have this kind of elevated at this point so let's just put cobble all the way down right here once we get to this spot right here uh we're gonna do a, like a little bit of a dip down so i'm gonna put just slabs right here on the bottom and then the rest could be either cobble what i did was a mix of cobble stone brick i put a little bit of gravel down here as well just to break it up and it looks really really nice so down here we can just texture this a little bit and there we go a floor should look like that and it's pretty cool textured on the bottom now up here on the ceiling you can break up this as you wish you could bring some bushes through just like so and it'll look pretty nice also you can break up the roof by adding more slabs up here just like so and that breaks it up even more and then you can add even some trap doors to the top and you can do a mix of any kind of trap door too it doesn't have to be just spruce but spruce probably looks the best right here a little bit on top just the ones that make sense like yeah there we go some of those right here will look a little weird like that one but some of these you could definitely break it up and it looks really really nice like that now once you're all done with the details let me just pass through here you guys can see it a little closer so we got some rocks on the floor right here with some stairs and slabs on the top got some jack-o-lanterns we got one lit one not lit <laughs> and then also some sea pickles on top to add to that detail add some pods on the ground does so much also some flower pots in certain areas we got some barrels here with a with a rose be careful uh and then also if you look here some grass some tall grass some flower pots with dead bushes look awesome here uh this one somebody's bursting out of there be careful and i don't know where this guy went um also here uh we got a little bit of flower action but not too much we kind of made it mostly dead stuff uh but we did keep a little bit of flowers just randomly scattered here now the bushes is what really sells it just making that pile up and the overgrown does so much if you go out here on the outside uh we have some really cool dead trees man it's so awesome so easy to make too i made a couple of these also on the uh, source block server and it came out really nice added a little bit of bush though i didn't go full on dead it looks like it's dying but it's not all the way dead which looks really really cool back here we have a little bit of uh, overhang detail here with some barrels and then some more overgrown bush a little bit 
of uh, of the cowboy action on the side and just keeping the breaking uh, break with the breaking walls uh, all the way around even on the back side even if you don't see it as much those little broken walls look really really cool now let's do some interior inspiration so we do have the little lift up here that we just saw we did on the other side but for interior you can really do anything there's so many possibilities so let's see if you guys get some inspiration from this one so right here we have a little wall divider just three trap doors just to separate from the front door to the side small little bed with some carpet little armor stand is a little uh, which is um, outfit right here is fine. Uh, which lives here, but also we have a, a little barrel with a light, and we have some blinds here, some blackout curtains, because you don't want that sun in your eye, uh, especially if you're a vampire witch, the best hybrid, and you don't want to get you know to turn to ash. Over here we got a little kitty cat. What's up, kitty cat? This is Milo, everybody. Uh, then over here we got some dead. Um, uh, we got it's meat. It's just meat. It's, no, it's not nothing died here. That's definitely not blood on the thing. So we just got some hanging meat. You know, this uh, the person that lives here, the, the the graveyard keeper likes to, to cook. Okay, it's fine. Over uh, here we have a nice little shoving unit with a wither skull, wither rose, blackout curtains, another head, uh, and a cat. That's mine. Uh, over here we got, you know what? Uh, we got some storage here in case you guys want to use this as a starter house. So you're safe. Crafting bench. We got all the things right there. We got a little cooking station with a cauldron on the tippy top. We got two cauldrons. This is to make stew. This is to wash your dishes, cause you know what, you you, you gotta wash them after. You don't, you're not a crazy person. You don't want to eat with some nasty stuff on your food. I mean, on your plate. That's what I'm saying. Then over here we have a nice little cabinet area with a chest, a brewing stand, and all the things you need to live your life. Right, Milo? You're the best. But that's all there is to it. Everything is looking so cool. Let me know if you guys are down to see more of Halloween style builds. I am so down to make some more. I got a good idea for a little haunted house maybe coming up very, very soon. But let me know what, do you, what else do you guys want to see. It is the season after all. Is there any other maybe little uh, build hacks you want to do? You want to make some, some scary carts or something? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, and I'll do it on an upcoming uh, tutorial. Let's play it. Let's play a uh, series or whatever. I'll do it anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll go to your house and build it in in front of you so you could whatever i'm not gonna do that but i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching you guys have been amazing and i'll catch you on the next minecraft video goodbye